What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Super Fina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host a podcast across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Super Fina. Today, we are reacting to the world's finest assassin. If you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got channel membership, Patreon, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode six. Yo, we're like halfway through the anime series. Okay, and we're about to encounter our, I guess this is going to be our last person that's going to be in the group that we saw in the first episode. Actually, let me take that back. It's not really the last person because we still need to acquire Ia. And she's not with us. Like, she went away. She went home. And, yeah. But we're going to encounter our newest member. The girl with, like, the blue hair and such. We're going to have an interesting story. There's human trafficking. It's going to get kind of intense. I think it is. But I'm really curious how this anime is going to portray her story. Kind of dark. Oh, a different outfit. We're going dark. Did she change her hair? Barrette ties from clovers to cherries? Oh, do you do creation magic to dye his hair? The Ilig Balor, Residence of Girls. Ooh. Residence of Girls. Human trafficking I talked about. Oh, we're going back to her being a kid or at least we're starting are we just showcasing her story the whole system Take him to this person, then this person. Murphy and Jody's referral. Tragic if they're cheap, though. Maha. Her name is Maha. It's raining, yo. Foreshadowing? Is this foreshadowing? They're talking about all their hopes and dreams. Making progress in life. Making money. Talking about how they can get better clothes. Considering your customers' wants. We know that her merchant history is going to benefit Illig Balor.
I wonder if they're gonna show Luke encountering her in this episode, though. Mm. Look, they're showing her having mana, yo. Dang. Pretty realistic how they're showing them kidnapping. Would you call this kidnapping kids? Abducting. Abducting would be better. Abducting, restraining. Why did they wrap that kid's mouth? Were they a biter? Hear me. Orphanage. Really? I bet they call this an orphanage so they can get money from the government. Damn. Look how feisty they are. Or that one. The blondie. Blonde one. But they're showing their Dominance. The adults are showing fear. Putting fear into the kids. Bounty. See, there you go. See, the Lord's wife offers money to people who help kids. They can cook for themselves, at least. Do they know how to cook? Is that a baked potato? Oh. That's supposed to last them a whole week? Dang. Oh, look, they're showing how much time passed by. Now they're making clothes. Oh, abuse. That's so counterproductive. What the? Call them merchandise. Merchandise. This guy's here to buy them. Ooh. Or buy a night with them. Oh, have her brought. Ooh. 
Ooh. How are they going to show this? <gasps> Gonna be her as the oldest one. Or the most the one with the most mature looking body. You saw her curves earlier, right? When we first saw her. Oh dear. Oh, you're making Maha watch. <gasps> They're making Maha wash her. That's the dress they were making, and they made Maha put makeup on her. They know what's going to happen. They know. Oh, they're trying to be sweet. Aoife's trying to be so brave. Because when you're living in the streets, there's not much choices for you to make an income, right? To survive, especially as a girl. And this is something they are trying to avoid as, as hard as they could. Oh, the lipstick is smeared. All the tears. Dang, they made those tears big. Oh, you just see them just running down, pulling right at the tip of the cheeks. The apples of the cheeks and just falling down. Falling off the face. Oh, she's feeling shame. Feeling. Oh, her body's been invaded. Painted. Just forced out of her. Of course, it's just something she didn't want to do. Oh, three, four. Oh, multiple times. Maybe this isn't the fourth time. Maybe this is like fifth to tenth. Oh. You're the only one? Oh, she's entertaining him! Oh! Justine. But look at her. She seems fine. She seems like her will has not been broken. Why is it always Eva? <gasps> Stop being so mean to her. The rest of you are merchandise too. <gasps> oh, look at that! <gasps> Damn. Why is she all cut up? Did she do that? To herself? <gasps> Where is she cutting? Her face! Dang! No one will buy me now that my face looks like this. Oh, dang! Two years later.
Was she the youngest? She was taller than the others. Oh my gosh, so perverted. Enjoy her after she's been sewed. Well, how you thought you were never going to have your turn? Girl. You watched all your friends go through it. Oh, she wants to mark her face. <gasps> it's Luke! Oh, he's been using his eyes. He knows she has mana. But how did he find that spot? I'm willing to take one of you in. What do you think the other girls are thinking at the moment? They've all gone through hard times being as merchandise, right? And her, who has, who has not been touched yet, is being saved. The way they portray the girls looks like they're like, oh, wow. What? But come on, they must be kind of resentful too, right? Or are they thinking, oh, she'll be saved. She won't have to live through us. Oh, but this guy, he's saying come back in three days. Dang, she actually said it pimped me out, then toy with me himself. Oh, he outright... Said it in her head. Luke knows what's going on. He knows. That's why he's like, I want to take her right away. And that's why he said, Well, she's my family. So I treat her like family. Treat her well since she's my family. Meaning, don't touch her. Oh, she's jealous. You would have chosen me if I didn't have these scars. <gasps> Did I do something stupid? No, girl. You did it to save yourself. That's why you marked your face. Such a... Ugh. Such a high price. You won't mind used goods? Oh, gosh. Oh, disgusting. Ooh, I'm getting so creeped out. She's like, I'll endure it. I'll endure it. Yeah! Use your mana, girl! I wonder why she didn't try to cultivate the mana in the past two years. Ugh. Ah, disgusting again. Yes! Save her in the nick of time! But is this like a manipulative thing? Did he save her in the nick of time to make her more loyal to him? Like he did with, um, parts in the food? I'm just saying. Hmm. 
and using the word family. Is he trying to draw that line with Maha? I mean, like we're just family, nothing more. Maha, mana, means nothing to him. He is a killing machine. Seeing you punished by the law or taking the law into my own hands. Ooh, ooh, I like a creepy laugh. Wee. <laughs> ugh. Predators to be put behind bars. They should be punished. Castrated. Oh, there was a younger girl. Oh. Maha wasn't the youngest. We called it! We knew this was gonna be dark with the human trafficking, prostituting. Oh my goodness, that was really good portrayal of this chapter. I don't think it was even a chapter. Was this a chapter in the manga or in the novel? Not too sure, but they did it very well introducing Maha, telling her story. They did it very well. I like. This. I prefer this than like flashbacks where they like show a character and then they do like flashbacks telling their backstory and such. I prefer this where I'm like, okay, I got it. Now I know where you're from, what you've been through. Now I can see your journey from then on. Like, I like seeing that flow. Sometimes I get annoyed with the back and forth, but sometimes I'm okay with that. You know, like, I don't know what's, when stores do that stuff. You, you know what I mean? If it happens, if the back and forth happens, it happens, right? But what do you guys think about that? And what do you think about this episode? And what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the world's finest assassin, episode 6. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!